In this video, I'd like to demonstrate a simple technique for management of fingertip avulsion injuries. These are a common injury that we all see in the emergency department, usually a person who slices the tip of their thumb or another finger while they're slicing vegetables. What we often see is that no matter how much direct pressure you hold on these injuries, they just keep bleeding, and this is a real nuisance, which is why the patient comes to see us in the ED. Here's a simple technique that you can employ in the emergency department to manage these injuries. Firstly, what you're going to do is place a tourniquet at the base of the affected digit in order to stop further active bleeding. Make sure it's nice and snug. Then instruct the patient to elevate that limb at least above the level of their heart. The next thing you'll do is blot away the existing bleeding and then use your fingers to manually milk that digit and exsanguinate the digit. You want to now observe the wound for several minutes to ensure that there's complete hemostasis and no further bleeding from that wound. Once you're sure that's the case, you can proceed to the next step, which is the application of a layer of tissue adhesive glue to act as a sealant over that avulsion injury. You can go ahead and dab away extra glue around the wound edges. And ultimately, you're going to apply about three to four layers of adhesive glue over the wound. Once that glue is completely dried, and only once it's completely dried, you'll go ahead and remove the tourniquet. What you end up with is this scab-like wound over the avulsion with no further active bleeding. Like any layer of tissue adhesive glue, it will fall off in approximately a week, and you'll end up with this nice clean scab with no further bleeding from the wound site. I'd like to summarize with some key points for the success of this procedure. Firstly, this procedure is for use with superficial minor wounds only. This is not something to use if you've got an amputated digit, if you've got exposed bone, or if you have a large pumping blood vessel. Secondly, complete hemostasis is required before you apply that glue. That's why elevation of the limb and tourniquet application is so important for success of the technique. Finally, make sure to instruct that patient not to put on any ointments, lotions, or excessively wet the glue which could cause it to slough off prematurely and lead to failure of hemostasis.